did us up to bed. I don't know it word for word. You want to just take your phone out and read it exactly? Uh, I'll give you some time. This was today. It was a Facebook post today. It was based off of um, some protests that went down in Chicago. What was that? On Friday these went down or Thursday? Uh, Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Friday. Uh, either the start of their plan was to it was to be there a big Cubs game, some Lollapalooza traffic. Yeah, there was busy, a lot going on. Busy, busy going on. There's a group of protesters who they done this on the south side. They're doing the Dan Ryan. Dan yeah. Ryan on 95th Street. So it's not just they want to mix it up. Yeah, and it started and, in L.A. Too. I remember a few years ago when I was in L.A., there were people blocking Blocking traffic the highways. just yeah. to pro- bring light to situations. Yes. Um, and these people are protesting the gun violence in Chicago. Okay? Yes. Uh, my post was this. The Lakeshore Drive shut down protests on the north side this past weekend. Everyone knows that. Mm-hmm. But there were 63 people shot Sunday, 10 dead. Let me stop before the goofy wokes come at me. Meaning, goofy woke people are people who are just part PC, part just against the system. I feel manically without being laser pointed on what the fuck you're talking about. How can you get a real solution? That's that's fair. A goofy woke for me. Then I say, I wish I was Luke Cage. So we could really take on the real problem. Gang members and clowns in our own hood. White folks going to a Cubs game don't have anything to do with this. And if you dis- disagree, look deep inside yourself. Meaning. I thought that was a great post, yeah. Meaning, if you're going to protest, you're protesting gun violence in the South Side, gun violence in the West Side, gun violence in majority black neighborhoods. There's these group of protesters, black some are white, Latino, whatever. There's a group of people who feel that they need to stop someone else's life on the side of town that this wasn't happening. They feel, for some reason, some people responded, no, we need to bring awareness to white people to know that what's happening in our neighborhood. They know what's happening in their neighborhood because it's on the news all the time. It is, all the time. I go When I go out of town, or I travel a lot, Europe, California, Everywhere. I'm from Chicago. Whoa, is it dangerous there? Yeah. White people clearly know what the fuck is going on in the hood in Chicago. People are afraid. You know, I, I've been, I can't remember what city I was in. I was on the road and someone's like, we're supposed to go to Chicago, but like, I'm just so worried about yeah, it. The people, people, I go, look, you're going to be fine. You're not, you're going to stay in somewhere nice somewhere south of not, Michigan yeah, Avenue. You'll be fine. You're it's, not on uh, 67th and Loomis, you know, unless you're on 67th and Loomis looking for some heroin or something. Yeah. That's the only be- time a white person. And that happens. Anytime you ever see just some white people walking around randomly in the ghetto, they're looking, looking for, for drugs. Drugs. Yeah, there was a, a diner up in my neighborhood off of Montrose and Central called Johnny's Diner. Just a typical Chicago diner. And the own, it then later changed name to Johnny's Uncle Jim's because Johnny died. He went on the west side, actually. He went to the west side to buy cocaine and got uh, shot at North and Laramie. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so it's, like, it's like if you're doing that, you're doing that. But I'm saying... For the situation, and I, I just I only brought that up to like echo your point. Like, no, yes, that's you. the I, truth. Yeah, I, I mean, the reason I brought that post up was like, what is some random person going to a Cubs game have to do with this? There is a list of things, and I say this, and I'm not. I just told you, I come from a very different background than someone in the inner city, inner city, but I was there all the time. I have family members who live in the hood. Uh, I own property in Bronzeville on 40, off of 47th Street, which is, you can't get any more south side than that. So I do have stake in this conversation as someone who, a lot of times, some affluent blacks or educated blacks leave a neighborhood because they feel, oh, I need to go to Winnetka where things are better instead of staying in your own fucking hood, making your own fucking shit dope with your smartness and your financial resources. Well, that's the big thing that people don't realize. Uh, Chicago... Is uh, and again, listeners who are from around the country, you know, you're probably oh, you're getting to Chicago. I want you to just relate this to your city, and this is a fascinating thing. This is a big American city, but Chicago is the only major city 
in the last from the last census to lose population. But what people don't talk about, because I think a lot of ignorant people think, oh, it's probably just scared whites going to the suburbs. It's a little bit, but Mm-mm. you know what it really is? It's it's affluent black people leaving the city. No, it's affluent black people in the city, and it's also poor people living in the city. Because they can't afford to live in the city anymore. Yeah, that's true. You too. have to move to Harvey, Markham, uh, also in the in the burbs. Yeah. Where because if you remember back when um, what's my homeboy's name? Um, he's a comic. He did with Tim Reed and oh, um, what's his name? Uh, yeah, that uh, fuck. How am I blanking? Tom. Uh, Tom Dreesen. Tom Dreesen. Great guy. My man, my yeah, man Tom Dreesen. I like Dreesen. Tom. He's from Harvey, He's from Illinois. Harvey. When he was in Harvey, Harvey was all white. Okay? Now Harvey is like Baltimore. Wasn't Shay Shay from Harvey? Remember Shay Shay? Shay Shay was from Harvey. Like, yeah. you know, Wildcat, Michi, they're all from Harvey. But back then, the suburbs was white. As fuck. Now they all black because people can't afford to live in the city. So back to this thing. My post is you can't, you can't expect results. With some marching like that. Marching doesn't do anything. And you brought up the Apple Store protest they did a couple years ago on Black and, Friday. And I, and I say that. Someone, someone was talking about, well, marches do, so, do something. I was like, okay. That protest is different than the Apple Store protest. Because the Apple Store pe- protest was, we call that... Um, Laquez Martin or whatever, the guy who got shot by the cops. Oh, Laquan McDonald. Laquan McDonald. Yeah, I forgot that. That's now, true. If you were protesting the North Side shut down because cops killed some kid or cops did something, I wouldn't have said shit. Gotcha. Because you are protesting a system. And if people on North Side pay into that system, they need to be aware of what the system is affecting other people that you're paying into. Because if somebody was up here, cops was shooting Irish dudes for some strange reason. I would be out there saying, shit, they can shoot me next. Yeah. You're, on, it's the, you're protesting the system. Gotcha. Protesting. That'd gun be pretty violence. weird if cops started shooting Irish dudes. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I know, I'm kidding around. Protesting gun violence in the community to some white people over here who are tw- 15 miles up from you or whatever. 15 miles up, yeah. living their own life. I don't know what, like, I don't know what the fuck you do. They're like, and okay, what if, okay, then I, I should have said this. I didn't post this. I said, okay, your dreams come true. You get. 60% of the white people that were affected by your things say, okay, no mas, you win. Where do I write the check? What's your motherfucking answer? That's a good point. That's what do you want them point. to do? Are you going to give them to a stupid-ass non-for-profit that was going to have night basketball or some old pussy-ass shit that's not going to fucking work? Don't act like a check can solve this. There's a lot of hardcore things in those communities. You should put things. money into creating a Luke Cage. I look, yeah. it, that's a great show. Some, I like some, that show. Some crazy serums. Can we get like or, a mutant down there? Um, no, I hear you, man. Like, it's one of those things where, um, you know, there's, there's. I, I the wanted to share your post. Only reason, no, I'm go sorry. ahead. Only reason, I, only reason I have to get, re- I get real like that is because I have to take on that. Fuck it. If Chris Rock, can, if Chris Rock said the exact same shit I'm saying, nobody would say shit. Or Dave Chappelle. Yeah, you're right. I'm putting myself in that. I'm like. I'm smart enough to know there's nuances about this. 